Stop lying. I'm not joking. The body is. Stop lying. What are you gonna do? Call the cops. What's good, June Squad? It's your boy and your boy Danny. Guys, today me and Danny decided that we are going to just jump on the ski, head out of Sebastian, and go as far as possible on a full tank. And of course, we're gonna have to fill up and come back. But we're gonna go as far as possible and see where we can go and what we find along the Indian River going towards Jupiter, maybe? Yeah. Something like that, right? Yeah, yeah, Jupiter sounds so, good to me. Yeah, so there's a bunch of little gems here along the way. I don't know a lot of them, so we're gonna explore and hopefully we find some craziness. When me and Danny get together, it's always something crazy. Something's gonna happen. But, but we're not in our back country. So that we're out of our element right now. Open waters. Open yeah, we're in open waters. A little bit out of our element. We're gonna make the best of this though. Yeah, for sure. Sure. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. One mile an hour. That's how fast you've gone on this thing? <laughs> I mean, I'm a beginner, bro. I'm trying. I'm trying to learn how to do this right now. Let's see. But yeah, this thing right here connects to your hat. <laughs> so if you ever lose your hat, you just snap back on. <laughs> Boys, if you haven't yet, make sure you get your pair of strapinos. This is this easy to unstrap. Just basically press the button down, pull it back, unlatch, and back it goes. That easy. Let's go. So check it out, look what I found. An abandoned boat. I haven't uh, done a video like this in a while, being that all the boats have been taken out, but we got an abandoned ship. Should we try to get on it? I think so. Nah, uh, we probably can't. But we're gonna try to figure it out. What took me and the family out last week? I got the boat stuff, we're gonna pull it out. Yeah. The silver stone. What's this silver stone? Tone. Silver tone. Something like that. Wow, it's crazy how they just lift that here, huh? Like somebody owns that thing. What? Like somebody has to own it. And know that it's sitting here, right? They got it buoyed off and everything. They must come they must probably gonna be coming back for something. Look at Danny. <laughs> well, be careful. Bro, don't get cut. And he's barefooted, too. Jesus. So, FWC already got a sticker on it, as you can see. All right. We got a body. We got a body. Stop lying. I'm not joking. The body is. Stop lying. What are you gonna do? Call the cops. Call the cops. Do it. You gotta get the body out. Bro, what are you doing littering? I'm getting that. Take it out of here, bro. Do the same way you got in. <laughs> Better hurry up before we get caught. I'm gonna blame it all on you. It's your fault. Oh, there's mud here. Yeah, you've been tracking mud. Look. Oh no, I gotta get out of here. Oh no, stop. No. Daniel. I'm just saying, bro. This guy. What it's like when you have a boat owner. It's two good days when you buy it and when you sell it. <laughs> Don't forget that. <laughs> Do not forget that. I'm gonna keep, like, hopefully the, the, the current pulls me out of this crap. To one side of it. Stuck. Danny, Danny, Danny. I feel this ski stuck. <laughs> it is stuck. <laughs> I feel this thing on the ground. Dude, look. It's the back of the ski. Oh, yeah. there it is. Oh, it was on the boat. Maybe. Nah, it just ain't moving. I'm drifting somewhat. <laughs> oh, dude, I'm stuck. 
hit some rope back. Oh no. Pushing away. I'm gonna try to get out of this. Ready? Over there, though. <laughs> Look at him. He, he won't get in the water for nothing. He won't get in the water for nothing. He did it. We almost got stuck. We almost got stuck. Almost don't count. Almost don't count. <laughs> we keep messing around, we're gonna get stuck. Huh? I said we keep messing around, we're gonna get stuck. Now we ain't. <laughs> that boat catch up with you. Let's go. So we've come to the first bridge, which is uh, Vero, and uh, we're gonna keep going. So we're gonna go past Fort Pierce um, and down to Jupiter. This guy, always on the phone. Why are you jet skiing? Always. But beautiful day out here, man. So far, great day. We're just gonna go as far as possible and then start looking in the area. We've never been past Fort Pierce, so this is gonna be a crazy experience to go past that. Um, we're still, I'm like a little bit less than a, a full tank. I don't know if y'all can see that. Yeah, a little bit less than a half a tank. I mean, not half a tank, a little less than a full tank. So, we're doing good. Doing really good. Such a beautiful day. Such a beautiful day. Beautiful boat too. That's a beautiful boat. All right, guys. So <laughs> I got pulled over. Yeah, my dumb self decided because something caught my eye at the shore and decided to go beeline that way. And didn't realize that I came out of the channel and I was in a manatee zone. And of course. I was right there waiting. So yeah, I got a $140 ticket for being in the manatee zone. Not cool, not cool. That was my fault. I let exploring take the best of me. And uh, yeah, I gotta pay for it. So yes, message to you guys out there. Make sure that you realize that you're not in the channel and you're in the channel. Make sure you know where your manatee zones are and uh, make sure that you uh, you abide by the laws because if if uh, if the law sees you, they will give you a nice hefty ticket. And FWC was really nice enough to give me a nice little hefty 140 ticket. Yes. Yep. And there they go. There. So you guys can see they're they're pulling away. That's them right there. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, don't do what I do. It was a mistake. I learned my lesson. So don't do that, okay? Make sure you stay in the channel. Uh, but uh, we're gonna keep on traveling down Fort Pierce and uh, Jupiter. Let's go. So we made it to um, Fort Pierce sandbar, which is, that's the inlet, and that's the sandbar right there. All this right here you can actually hang out at. Got Danny back there. But we're gonna go ahead and pull up over there, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and pull up over there, 
and throw the drone up. So, it's a beautiful area. The water is nice and blue, or greenish, turquoise, green, whatever color you want to call it. But it's beautiful out here. So. They call you what? What's going on, man? What's happening? What do they call you? They call me Canadrapico. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, people. So we are at Fort Pierce Sandbar. So, so we at. That's where we're at. Where we're at. We're here. We're here. We're always here. <laughs> no, but yeah, this is the first stop. We're gonna actually go out the ocean. Is that what yep, we're doing? The ocean going south. We're gonna hit the. We're gonna go south. We're just gonna hit the ocean. Yeah, I got pulled over. What? It was my fault. It was my fault. Uh, I'll tell you what, here, show them that I, video. I got a, I got a, <laughs> I got a $140 ticket. I'm just so, so bent out of shape about it, but it's my fault. I let the exploring take the best out of me. And uh, we ended up, I ended up, uh, you know, looking at something and didn't realize it was in a no-wake zone. So, all right, it, it's, it is what it is. It freaking is what it is. I but, don't uh, break the law, that's why. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it was the first time that boy that boy still far from me <laughs> <laughs> you noticed that huh? did they ask why won't I come around yeah no I just told him I said yeah I'm with my buddy you know I always come out with somebody so he's like oh that's what I see he's, he's with you <laughs> so yeah yeah he's with me but so yeah this is how we get down so we sit here enjoying some uh, oh, yeah, check oysters it out. and chips yeah check out these oysters you can definitely see that here look come closer look look at these things I mean they're really Good. Yeah, they look nasty, but they're good. Yeah. They look nasty, but they're good. <laughs> so yeah, beautiful sandbar. The oysters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, all ass and get out of here. All right, guys. So we tried to go all the way down to Jupiter. Uh, but it is super choppy, super, super choppy, and it's pretty far. So we were already at half tank. Um, we're looking for gases around here. Uh, we found one, but Danny had gas on him. So Danny put ski, I mean, gas in his ski. I don't really need it, uh, but I mean, I'm going to tell you, this ski runs so smoothly in chop, man. Oh, my God. I, I'm, I'm little by little and becoming a sea dew lover. I know a lot of you guys hate to hear that, but I love the fact that this thing is so comfortable on long, long rides. It, it's it's amazing how comfortable it is. Uh, my back's not hurting and I'm, you know, we've been in chop all day and it's just cutting right through it. Oh, and another thing that I love is this whole connect. I got GPS and my mile an hour gas and everything right there so it literally tells me everything i need to know right there in my face i love that so i can actually figure out what areas i can go into and what i not can't do and then on the app because it's all uh, the brp app and the app uh, you can set you know the app to follow you so you, it tracks you all the way around so i have a tracking on the map itself so i know which way to go back to i need to but me and Danny, we still, we're still, we're chucking it back. We're going back. It's so beautiful. I, I love this water, man. But we got to get back to the other side. We're going to start cruising back the other way. So let's go. All right, people. We're signing out. It was a great day. Me and Danny had a great ride going all the way down to, um, well, we tried to make it to Jupiter. But we got wow. half, we got halfway there. It just got too choppy and, uh. <laughs> We couldn't do it. We were like, we gotta go, we gotta go. <laughs> so we, yeah, 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 no. So we left, well, we turned around. Um, we were running out of gas too. So we had to hurry up and come back. Uh, there wasn't too many fuel stations out there. Um, if we looked hard enough, we probably would have found one though. And I'm gonna be hundred percent honest, but for the most part, you know, it was just a day of going and adventuring, go check out different areas. We seen a bunch of different boats, uh, which was pretty cool. You know, there's a lot of abandoned boats right now. Uh, but I don't understand why there's so many right now. There used to be a whole bunch. So you guys see my series before, you saw how many boats were stranded in the area because of the hurricanes and stuff. But I don't remember having a hurricane anytime soon. I don't understand why there's so many boats now. But <laughs> um, but for the most part, uh, we did see some um, some cool stuff. 
Uh, I didn't get a lot of it filmed because, you know, a lot of it is just us running, riding, sightseeing in a sense. We were going to stop and jump out of uh, this one place that we saw. But um, we really couldn't go there because it was just cops everywhere or whatever. And we just we were just trying to get going. So we just left it alone and just kept it moving. But big shout out to Danny for coming and riding with me today. Hey, that's how we do it. <laughs> that's how we do it. That's how we do it. I mean, we we got to... We, we normally hit the rivers, and we're normally on Yamahas. The sea has got us thinking a different way, guys, unfortunately. We have to make sure that we go into areas that are not too shallow because there are bigger machines, and we can't get into those shallow areas like that. Hey, but at the end of the day, they do ride really uh -huh. good. Yes. Like a cloud. Yeah. They just... Yeah. Whoosh. So nice. Yeah. And, and I like the all-new features on the 23s. It just... It makes everything just feel feel more fun on the ski for some reason i don't know why but it is what it is new but toys. yeah new toys but guys thank you guys for watching the video make sure you guys subscribe if you're not a subscriber and uh, like the video please but uh, me and danny hopefully the next one that you see me and danny on we're doing keys either the keys Dry tortuga. we're doing something crazy yeah, <laughs> I tour too on a, on a ski boat. Oh yeah, yeah. We got we got a lot of plans coming, guys. We got a lot of stuff that we're doing. So just make sure you stay tuned for that. But again, look at this guy. Well, we gotta go. He's already acting funny. We gotta go. See you guys. <laughs>